Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs and today is day 11 of my 12 days of Christmas projects and I had so many requests for the Christmas barn bundle and I put it off and put it off because it's not really my type of bundle but once I made the projects you guys I loved them so now I'm in love with the bundle and of course now the day before the stamps have sold out so I apologize <laughs> Um, in December when everything is while supplies last you never know um, but the dies are still available in case you want the dies and uh, those of you that have the stamp set I've got two projects today for you so this is project number one I made a card and you might not really be able to tell but I have linen paper back here uh, the linen paper is our specialty paper and it's textured it looks just like fabric um, we're gonna stamp and um, do some coloring. And then I've also used our Fitting Florets Designer Series paper, which is still available um, through the end of the year until supplies last, until supplies run out. All right, I've got my uh, barn, my tree, and my sleigh all lined up on my Stamparatus with basic white underneath. I'm gonna ink it in ba uh, Memento Black because we are coloring with Stampin' Blends. The benefits of using the Stamparatus are that I can do them all three at one time, but also so that I can make sure I get a good, clean image when I stamp. The barn has quite a lot of detail, so I wanna make sure that I get it all. So if I had stamped that with a regular block, I wouldn't be able to lay that back down and fix those areas. Now, perfect. Okay. We're gonna color these, like I mentioned, with Stampin' Blends. And I'm gonna start with the barn. I have Cherry Cobbler, and we're gonna start with Cherry Cobbler Light. And I'm gonna give the barn just a coating of light Cherry Cobbler. I'm gonna go all the way around very carefully. And I am using my brush tip this time because I've got a big space to cover. All right, be careful as you go around the doors and the windows. All right, once you have that done, I'm gonna take my dark cherry cobbler and I'm gonna put some shadow lines here under the roof line, just by putting a line right underneath like that, and then we'll put it around these doors too. Kind of gives them um, some dimension, they kind of pop off the page. Like that, and then you can take your light again and just kind of blend that all together. So that you have a nice painted barn. I love this barn, it's just beautiful. All right, so now I'm gonna take my um, crumb cake. I'm gonna take dark crumb cake, I think, first. Let's see, and I'm gonna color in all the windows and the doors. All right, now I'm gonna take my soft suede. Let's try our light soft suede first and see. We want some um, contrast here. I think I'm gonna go darker. I think I'm gonna go with my dark soft suede. And I'm gonna kind of do these outlines and the X's in the middle of the doors. Like that. Okay, we'll do this one down here too, like that. And you can even do the outlines of these. Now I've got the roof line. So I'm gonna take my dark soft suede, very carefully go around the roof line. I 
got a roof line up here and we've got some more cherry cobbler up here we've got to do too. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to my light soft suede and we'll just do this roof. Okay, and let's go back up there with our light cherry cobbler and finish off that part at the top. And the hard part is done. All right, let's do our, our sleigh. I'm gonna color these guys. I'm just gonna keep with these two colors, uh, cherry cobbler and evening evergreen, just to keep it simple. But you, of course, can do any colors that you feel like you wanna do. Um, let's see, we've got this guy with a sh red shirt. And then we'll go back with our light evening evergreen. Make sure I've got light. And I'm gonna color the sleigh in light. Here, where it's very small, I like to use my uh, bullet tip end. Oh, actually, I was gonna do some soft suede here too. We'll come back and do that. Um, let's see, we'll do some, the rest soft suede. Um, let's see, we'll do light soft suede. Now I forgot my petal pink, but you wanna make sure you color their faces. We'll use light soft suede for our horse. And actually we can go over that because we're gonna color that with dark soft suede in a sec. So then take your dark, do some contrast here very carefully. When it's very small like this, I like to just flick the, the marker. Because if you set it down hard, you might the ink might spread out too much. There we go. All right, so now let's do our tree. I'm just gonna take soft suede and go down the trunk. And then I'm gonna take my evening evergreen Light, mm, did I grab dark? Nope, this is light. Evening Evergreen is one of those colors that's really dark. Okay. Color all those branches, really easy. Not a lot of detail. Okay. Now the last thing we need to do is to stamp our fence. And we're gonna do that with soft suede. And we'll do that over here on the side. All right, let's cut these out. I have brand new plates on my cut and emboss machine so you'll be able to see through them, which is always nice. I like to buy new plates for my cut and emboss every few months because it just helps start fresh, keep everything from you know, your your plates kind of get scratched up and this brand these brand new plates really help you line up these things. You can see exactly what you're doing. The more used ones are harder to see through. All right, now we need the fence. I love this little fence, so cool. Now, I'm a little bit nervous about these slipping. So if you're nervous, get some post-it tape or a post-it note. I really like post-it tape. I get it from Amazon. It really does hold things in nicely. Very carefully, set your plate down, hold your breath, and run it through. All right, all of our pieces have come out nicely. Let's put our card together. There's our barn and our fence and our sleigh and our tree. Now I mentioned I was using some of this beautiful linen paper. Hopefully you can see that. It really is cool. Um, we're gonna get that tree 
off of our Stamparatus. And we're gonna stamp that once onto the linen paper. You can stamp directly onto your linen paper. All right. We'll grab this block, put that tree on there, and I'm just gonna stamp it in Evening Evergreen. Okay, and we'll just do it kind of here in the corner. Okay, like that. Now, I'm gonna layer all my things, and I'm gonna use dimensionals. So we'll grab some dimensionals. And we'll start with our barn. And we're gonna put that over here. Now I'm gonna get my other tree and slide that in, kind of overlapping that other tree that we stamped, like that. I have cut out a silo, if I can get it picked up, from silver foil. And I'll just put some liquid adhesive on that. And slide that back here. We'll get some dimensionals again for our fence. And put it this way. Now, I did struggle. Does the fence go that way or that way? And I think really it's about perspective. I think it could go either way. You decide when you do yours. And our sleigh can go right there. Isn't that beautiful? Let's move this down a little bit so we can see a little bit more of the barn. It can hang off a bit. Okay, now we're ready to put our card together. I have an evening evergreen card base, and we're gonna put this a piece of fitting florets. I think that the gingham is just perfect for the barn. Put the fitting florets piece right there in the middle. And then we're gonna put dimensionals on the back of this and put that on the front. Now the sentiment we're gonna stamp on the end side. Okay, right there, like that. Now let's grab some linen thread, which right here, whoops. We'll tie. tie a bow with your linen thread around the front, bottom part of your card base. And then we'll snip that off, snip, snip. And then for our sentiment, I have a piece of basic white and we'll just stamp that sentiment right in the middle of, a, of the basic white for the inside. May joy fill your heart this season. And there you have it. All right, you guys, I appreciate many of you challenging me to use this bundle. I ended up falling in love with it. Um, if you need the details for this card, click the link here on YouTube, go back to my blog. There's a supply list and measurements and a second Christmas barn project. Thanks everybody. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.